Let me answer another question. This time I have got it from GitHub. So Elvis on GitHub is asking for binary bias for Clisre X99 version 201. He claims that his motherboard, however, has X99 chipset. He's also asking for a file with a bin extension instead of ROM extension, because according to him, they are not compatible. So let's first take a look at the motherboard. Clisre X99 version 201 is this motherboard, which I have already reviewed in my channel. BIOS is available everything is available. So here we can see that it is written x99 version 201. However, the motherboard Elvis has linked in the GitHub issue is this one. I have no clue why he decided that this is x99 201, but he did well that he did not try to flush um, BIOS from x99 201 because that motherboard has B85 or H81 chipset. BIOS for these chipsets is not compatible for motherboards with BIOS X99 or C612. So this motherboard is a so-called Plex HD X99 Turbo or ZX EV3. This is a very bad motherboard because the quality is really poor. I have tested a couple of these motherboards and all of them failed on me. I have also tested another variation which was called ZX99D3A4 and I have also cooperated with BIOS I engineer to create a good BIOS for it. So if you're interested you can check out my review about this motherboard. My particular motherboard has got a dead PCI Express slot after a while. So at the start everything was working but after a while the first PCI Express X16 slot just died. Also I have mentioned in multiple videos but I will say it again, I have been in touch with the factory which is producing these ZX motherboards, they know about the quality issues, they know about all of their flaws, but they simply don't bother because people keep buying and they keep producing these uh, low quality motherboards and keep selling them. I have tried to provide some feedback, but they just don't want to listen, they just say, okay, fine, you don't like our product, don't buy it. Now back to the original motherboard that Elvis is asking about. This motherboard has very many different variations and it may have compatibility issues with the different BIOS, but all in all they are more or less compatible with each other. If you wish and if you have a programmer, you can try this BIOS from iEngineer, which is supposed to be compatible between this motherboard and the one you have got, and so far this is the best BIOS I know. But also there is a great website which is called Xeon E5450.ru, I will add a link to the video description, which has collections of many different BIOS options for different Chinese X79 and X99 motherboards. If we scroll through this page for ZX99 EV3 motherboard, we can see that the motherboard was released in multiple different flavors and options, in green color, red color, orange color, with different radiators, different patterns. Basically, this factory is producing all sorts of different motherboards, they don't bother with the support, they don't bother with bias compatibility, they just do whatever people buy to earn as much money as they can. Nevertheless, on this page you can find multiple different BIOS options and I am sure one of them will be compatible with your motherboard. And back to your question about the bin and ROM files. Actually, there is no difference between bin and ROM files. As long as the file itself contains BIOS, you can flush it onto your motherboard. If for some reason bin file or ROM file is not recognized by your flushing software, you can just rename the file from bin to ROM or from ROM to bin. You can actually call the file whatever, as long as the BIOS itself is in the file, you can use this file to flush it onto your motherboard. So, I hope this helps, I hope this answers your question. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, bye bye!